Before we start, I just want to get to kind of the reason why I did this. I am a person with a lot of shit, okay? I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of shoes. I love fashion. But the problem was I had too much stuff that was starting to cost me a little bit too much. And then I had it stuffed in a little ass closet. So originally, this was going to be a studio for what I'm doing right now. Um, and I actually shoot right now in like my dining room area. And then I was like, well, why would you do that when your clothes literally are throwing up in your bedroom closet? Why don't you just make a walk-in closet? So that was my whole point of doing this. It wasn't necessarily to say, oh, look what I have or trying to boast or anything like that because looking at the closet that I have now and what you guys, you know, have seen and stuff like that is that I remember having nothing, you know, and I've worked very hard, hard to get to this position and I, it's good to just kind of see. It makes me, I just sit sometimes like, wow, I've come a long way. So that's really what the reason for me was to do this and to kind of show people organization goes a long way because another issue that I kept having was I have, I have a tendency to keep things in their original casings, such as shoes in boxes, uh, makeup in bags and stuff like that. So what happens is I start to have all of these clothes from Forever 21 and Moschino and they stay in their bags and I never can find them. So when you can't find anything, you can't wear the shit. So that's what I was, I would buy multiples of this. I got like literally like at least 25 pairs of black pants because I kept buying them thinking I don't have any and then I finally just went through my closet. So this was another way for me to organize all of the shit that I have, whether it be jewelry, rings, whatever, and actually put it in one space. Finally, I'm finished. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll start from here. Um, so this can all make sense to you guys. So I'll start here because this will make this was the inspiration for my entire closet. This is my Barbie's closet for my Barbie doll. And I wanted to do a closet that would represent if Barbie had a closet and she lived in a two-bedroom apartment, how it would be. <laughs> so that's pretty much what this is. So I'll go over every freaking thing that you guys are seeing right now one by one. So let's start here. Do this. So this is, these lights are from Ikea. So I'll put one here and one there. I was going to put them at the top, but I decided not to because there is so much lighting going on. Here, I didn't want it just it to be so bright in here. I wanted some contrast of some sort. So these photos that you are seeing on the wall are actually illustrations by Robert Best. And Robert Best actually is the illustrator for Mattel and most, most iconically Barbie. These are from the 2015 Moschino Barbie collection. And I decided to, I had the pamphlet from like the, I guess the program from that show. So I scanned all these and had them blown up so that I could have them on my wall. I actually have like, I think two more, but I haven't put them up. This particular outfit is actually a bad outfit in real life. Okay, so we'll start from, I guess back here. So these are just, I decided to just hit, usually when I'm doing stuff, you guys follow his Instagram page. Then you guys know I do like a lot of different looks. So this is usually where I keep things stored. I have two of these. This is the clean one. <laughs> um, you guys know I have this jacket in real life. So this B is actually, it was like $2 from Ikea. And I just got this book not too long ago, but it's actually Barbie's like uh, straight to the Moschino page. I have all those looks. Um, but it's really a, it's, it's a look and a diary of like all of the photography that they do for Barbie on her Barbie style Instagram page and I am actually working on a t coffee table book like literally before I even knew they were doing this I wanted to do this with my own doll so this is like a big inspiration for me and this came out I think the first of this month so I haven't had it that long but I've been through every page consistently and whenever I feel a little clouded or just want to try something new I go to that if you love me, you should know that this is my favorite candle in the freaking world. These smell so freaking amazing. I keep them on hand. I buy them by the dozens from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross. 
um, this is just a lack that I got from Ikea and I went ahead and just put it on the wall myself. I'm actually going to put one there as well and I have some smaller ones I'm going to put in my bedroom. So these are the pops that I got. You guys know these things are extremely popular. Um, but I wanted these because this is from the new Power Rangers movie and this is from the old Power Rangers. And I actually have the reverse somewhere in my apartment. Um, so... These are um, fragrances that I use often. So that's, um, we have two fantasies by Britney. It's like a celebrity ambiance up in here. Uh, these are Gaga, and this is my one of my favorites ever, which is Ari by Ariana Grande. This is Gucci Floor, which is another favorite. I love this. This shit smells a freaking amazing. So then, thank you to all of you wonderful folks who helped me get my over 100,000, which is crazy because I'm almost at 500,000 now. And when I get my million plaque, I definitely plan to put it right smack dab in the middle. They, these bitches gonna have to get moved. <laughs> um, so here is my Christian Louboutin nail polish, which I never use. Um, so this is the first one I had ever purchased. This one, I had them at the Sephora. As you can see, it's like separating because I never use it. At the one, these are like $55 a year, girl. They ain't no different than OPI. But, um... I got them from Sephora, the one in Santa Monica, and then this is the one that came with like extra ones, like that one is separating so bad, and this one actually goes here, and yeah, um, but they're really good for decoration, and I love all of the colors, of course, and then we have my Little Kim Diamond Queen Bee Watch which I never wear like I should, but I, every so often I'll wear this watch, but it's very sentimental to me, um, and it's upside down. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, she did these, like, I think in, like, 2000, like, right around a neck of truth, so, like, 2000, I want to say, like, five or six, and I wear this every so often, you catch it in my videos, but, um, I wanted to put it out because it's been locked up like a Cinderella in, in, in a dungeon. Then we have my printer. This is my Moschino Barbie. These are the ones that just came out. I already did a review on those. I just got these today, which is my Saint and Center Fragrances by Kat Von D. Guess which one I like the most. Um, my MacBook. This is my iMac, and I use this one to do like a lot of heavy editing. I did like all of my like shorts on here. Um, when I have to do like music stuff or audio stuff, I'll do it on here. Um, this little lamp here, which I think is extremely cute, and I think it's actually plugged up. Okay, so since I'm fucking shit up, we're gonna just leave it where it's at. I never really use it, but um, I've used it a couple of times, but not as often because again, it's, it's hella bright in here. Um, this little locker thing I got from Ikea as well, which I really like. It's a lot of junk in there, so we're not gonna open that. This desk, got it from Ikea, and I took some um, contact paper and just put the marble on the top of this just because I didn't want it to just be like white and white and white and white and white. I wanted to sub like add some type of contrast in here so it can make sense, you know? So then we have this carpet, which is actually from Target. And I just wanted something that was white and plush and clean and nice that I could just walk on that kind of complemented everything in here. So this chair is actually um, a, I, for, I seen these in a Barbie something and I really wanted them. And I actually have these for the Barbie dolls too. So my doll actually has this as well. And this blanket is actually, I don't know what um, collection, what Louis Vuitton collection this was in. But I remember seeing it and it was a girl and she had it on like a dress. And I had to have it. But it's very comfortable. Um, Goldie loves this. This is her zhuzh when she comes over. She grabs this book and yeah, she gets comfortable. But it's functional and fashionable. So, these are my... This is my traveling luggage. Like, whenever I go somewhere, I usually take, you know, do this because it's, I know for a fact that I'm not going to have black luggage on the conveyor belt. I know for a fact the black shit ain't mine. Um, this is obviously my Moschino. It's like a trench coat with these big, you know, Barbie's buttons are always bigger than her face, which I love. Um, I got this mirror from Target. 
And speaking of Target, I got these curtains from Target as well. I haven't steamed them, so excuse the wrinkles down here, but I haven't steamed them, moon child. Um, and then this rod I got from Ikea as well, which I think was like $7. So I'll start, well, we're going to go back here. This, um, well, this is four coats and stuff like this. this is my rain jacket I had to do this for some Chucky stuff the other day that's why it's got shit all on it and then you guys know I love to wear these windbreakers because they're very comfortable as well as my Barbie loves Mac poster which I think I'm gonna put like in my entrance so big question I get often where do you store where do you store your wigs? Well, this is, ladies and gentlemen, how I store my goddamn wigs. Every last one of those bins is filled to the tip with wigs. That's a rug right here, and that's my Ion hoodie dryer. That's some stuff for my backgrounds. This is the box for Chucky. This is my Alexander McQueen glasses. And these, this backpack is actually my Bushimi backpack that goes with those pink puppies there in the back so since we're here we're gonna start on this side with shoes shoes those are my freddy flats <laughs> look at my let me get a close-up look at the soles guys this is why i hate buying louboutins look at that oh, so um those are my freddy flats these are some giuseppe's um these are my jeremy scott bears these are some more giuseppe's um and some bears. These are all my Gucci Codas, I believe. Yeah, these are Gucci Codas. These are some more Giuseppe's. These are some Giuseppe's. These, I think those are Martin Margiela back there. These are some Moschino. Uh, these Moschino um, shoes actually go with, which you can't see because it's damn light, but this, it goes with um, this Looney Tune stuff. So we're gonna go this way, and I'm gonna start up here. So that is, I'm gonna try to get a close up, but I don't know if I can. But that duffel bag is my Looney Tunes that has Moschino all over it, like I said, that goes with this. And it also matches these shoes. And then, um, that's my Barbie duffel bag. Remember I had that video where I said, I hate eBay, and I couldn't find the, dark, the Barbie duffel bag. I got outbid it, and I was really pissed off about it. Well, I have one, two, and three of them bitches now. Look at God, okay? So this, um, this is my Moschino Bear uh, duffel bag. This backpack is, look how big it is compared to my hand. It is from the Barbie collection as well. And I also have the turban to match it. Um, that's another Barbie duffel bag. That is the dog's, um, Louis Vuitton carrier. I only use this carrier when I know for a fact that they are going to be out with me and I can't have them out because they're so small and they get kind of fidgety around people. I'll bring it. But other than that, it stays in here. I don't know what the hell that is. And that is a Joy Rich bag. It's, it's a duffel bag as well. So here I have my laundry of just dirty shit that I need to wash but I just still have it. So we're gonna go back to shoes. These are some Adidas. Um, these are some Nikes. I think those are Giuseppe's back there. Yeah, these are my McDonald heels from, um, I like how they put like the fry, it looked like a fry container. Um, I wore these for Halloween last year. So this was my, my heels for my McDonald's Moschino outfit. These are my Toy Story, which I still have not worn none of these. <laughs> um, the are Giuseppe's on the inside. I wore these for um, New Year's one year and then these two are from the Balmain H&M collection. Um, down here are my pink Moschino uh, Western boots, which actually my doll has <laughs> the same exact boots. How cute, right? Those boots, um, those boots in the back are actually gonna not stay the ugly ass color. They're gonna be, they were bought to be spray painted a certain color. And these are my, um, what I want to call these so Kathy. These are my so Kate's. I guess the so Kathy is like the Lola Shutique brand. So let's go to clothes. So these, all of this stuff is stuff that I don't wear on a regular basis. So again, here's another Looney Tunes Moschino situation. I wore this to the Moschino fashion show. I wore these also in my videos. This is the jacket that my doll has. Um, this terry cloth jacket. Here is this. I wore this in 
my Barbie review. Um, this this jacket is actually a it has on the hood of it, it has um a teddy bear on it and it matches that purse which we'll get to in a second and then all the lights that you see that's in here all these lights are um on they run on batteries so therefore i can turn them on or i can turn them off and i can dim them all to a certain if i want to turn them off I said off. If I want to turn them off like I want to, then I have the ability to do so. But if I want to turn them back on all at once, and I can use one remote for all of these lights. Except these are all for the lights that have shoes and purses in them. All these lights are um, actually plugged into the wall. So, I'll go to these clothes now. So, I have a couple of hangers up there that I haven't figured out where I'm, what I'm going to do with them. All of this stuff, don't this eat. So don't think Kimberly was done because she ain't. Um, but all of this stuff is the stuff that I pulled out my closet. So if you notice that these hangers are not the same as all of these. Like all these are uniform. These are still hangers that I haven't like changed out. So that's why they're still up there. I haven't really got to that yet because I didn't think it was that important. So this is just stuff that I've wore in past years. Like I think these are my Alexander Wang scuba tops that you guys have seen me in many of times. Um, this is my Adidas which I love. I haven't worn that. Oh my god, how long? I think this is my J Lo jacket. Yeah, I buy J Lo shit. Um, this is my Jeremy Scott jacket. I remember wearing this jacket with that synthetic wig that tangled like crazy. Um, yeah, I wore a lot of this stuff that you guys seen. Um, most iconically, you guys remember me for my R and B jacket, and just a lot of this stuff that you guys have seen me in my Chucky uh, one piece, and then down here. I have some spare earrings in here for if I'm doing a specific look and I need some um, some belts and then in here is just a whole bunch of old Barbie stuff that I have these colors just make me so excited okay so we're gonna go to these bags now so the bags are all in this particular so if you could notice that this this one in the middle is shorter than those and it's because the baseboard over here I did not measure which goes around the entire room it was literally like a half of a centimeter where it wouldn't fit so I remember when I really originally did the video there was a big um, it was one of these that was sitting right here that one is now behind my backdrop so I had to buy this one in order to suffice because I didn't want this to be separate I didn't want it to be like this this nothing this is I didn't it just bothered me so I brought this and because that backpack had nowhere to go it actually fit so when you come in it feels like this all goes together because those bags are at the top you gotta make it work folks so I'll open this and this is a door that does not come with this you have to buy these separately so this is one of my favorite bags ever which is my Moschino hanger purse which you see Miss Thang over there has in her hand so you can wear it the way that she has or you can actually wear it with a strap so it has a strap to it and I wore it to pride this year and again these are all battery operated lights so I can use that remote or I can turn them off myself if I needed to this is my Moschino pink bag which is from the Barbie collection this is the bear jacket that I mean bear purse that goes with that bear collection and this jacket here and then one of my favorite bags ever which is my pink Barbie purse um, that's inflatable and it's very light but it makes a lot of noise um, I love this bag to death I want the other one that doesn't have a zipper this is the also um, came from the Barbie collection with the heels that I haven't worn because I haven't found anything but these things are so bright in the Sun like these are real Swarovski crystals so I'm a little scared <laughs> and then I have uh, my McDonald's purse which goes with those heels I showed you earlier so now we're gonna go to jewelry which is I seem to be a lot of you guys favorite part when I initially like previewed this so we're gonna pull this out now just to be clear all of the stuff that you're seeing as far as this goes this these inserts uh, these shelving this all this stuff these lights they all came from Ikea I didn't go anywhere else everything like 99.9% .9 of the stuff in here came from Ikea so 
jewelry wise so a lot of these like these big belts right here these are not changed these are belts um are from moschino so this is from the bear collection which at the end of it has like a credit card on it and this is also it this spells out moschino which i wore to coachella the year before last these are some earrings that i keep here a couple of rings um, these are some Moschino cuffs that I really, I just got these not too long ago and I really like. These are some Moschino bear earrings that I have. These were, Barbie came with these, so I had to get though these, even though these clip bones hurt. Um, these are the, another pair of bear earrings. Um, I got these from Forever 21, which I love. Here are a couple of chains that have, like this one has my name on it, that I got for, I think, Christmas. This one says damage, I got it from Hot Topic. And I, I like to layer these. Um, my favorite watch ever, which is my iced out all gold G-Shock, which is the wrong ass time. I wear for more fashion than I actually wear it for, I got a phone for the time. Um, my gold chain, and then these are some actual other gold chains that I have, um, that if I want to like layer something or I just want to get stupid and look so ridiculous, I can. Um, these are my McDonald earrings that I spray painted myself the day of Halloween last year for my McDonald's outfit. Um, these are some more, and I, I'll link the seller below. They're very hollow, um, but I really like these. I can wear fake jewelry, so it works. Here's a couple of more. These are, this is a Cartier bracelet that I got as a gift. Hair are, I got these from Guess. I haven't wore these as of yet, but they're like slinkies in a way where you can just pull these apart and then you can run them up your wrist. And then I love the hell out of these. I love these to death. And I got all of these in this section from Guest. Um, this... I did remember this from Screen Queens. It had blood all on it, and I actually got it out, and I was able to keep it because I was gonna throw it away. But I got it from Forever 21. I think I wore a couple of these in Screen Queens as well, and I was able to I, I was able to salvage these and keep them. Um, I think these in the back, these two were from the Steve Aoki video, and love them. They just hurt putting them on and off. Uh, this is my. Uh, communicator, my um, Power Rangers communicator. This is my Queen Bee chain that I get the most questions about. This was actually made by a company called Jewelry Fresh, and they made actually all of these for me. Look how big this is. This is ridiculous, and I haven't. I have some stuff coming up, but this is just the Barbie official. This one is all white. This one is pink. I think. I don't know. I think one of these are pink and one of these are white, but this is very faint. And then I have actually this one. Um, so yeah, Jewelry Fresh. If you need something custom that you've drew up or you just want a logo or something, they are the perfect people for that. Super cool people. They're in um, San Francisco. Interested? Hit them up. My grill. Couple of earrings here. So like I said, this all this stuff came from IKEA. It's very easy to put together. So we have this, which is kind of like a mosh posh of a mess. So, these are all the earrings, I mean, all the sunglasses and stuff that I have. So, when I'm looking for something, because, yeah, it was it became a mess where I couldn't find any of this stuff. It was all in bags and drawers, and it just didn't work like this. It's a, it's a chain that goes around my belt for my McDonald's purse down there. Here's a couple of, you know, uh, some more just clear glasses. I have some extra earrings from Forever 21. These are some Moschino headbands that came from the Barbie collection that you guys have seen me in. Um, I got a couple of dust bags in here. I got me some Hot Topic coupons, girl, because I live for a good sale, boo. I ain't never, ever that good. Um, some sunglasses that I have for like the summertime. Uh, a brush I clearly have used. This is my Moschino phone case which is the right size with this broke ass phone in it but it's, it's a great prop um because i actually am working on something that's gonna need some props some life-size props and stuff so these drawers down here are really just drawers of just miscellaneous stuff that i've washed there's some new t-shirts down there some barbie in there and that's that's really what this is some towels in there just random i haven't really put everything of what it is gonna be in there in there because i just you know whatever 
Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Like I said, I didn't spend too much. I think the most I spent on this closet was about two thousand dollars. But compared to what I would have been charged to do this and have somebody else doing it with the lighting and everything, it would have been well over that. So, um, I'm happy you guys enjoyed this. I'm happy I was able to do this. I finally have like a safe haven. I didn't get around to, well, I got around to buying it, but it ain't here. But I had like a bench that's going to go right here um, after the carpet guy comes because the back and forth has ruined my damn carpet. But once he comes, it's going to be a bench that sits right here. So when I come in here and I actually want to sit down, I can look and see what I want. Because a lot of this stuff I don't wear every single day. Like, I don't look like Tony the Tiger every day. So... I don't want to have this in my bedroom because it just doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to separate the glam stuff and then the regular stuff. So this was kind of lengthy, but I hope that this has helped. If you guys have any questions about anything in here, feel free to leave the comments below and I'll do my best to reply to all of those. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions about this particular tour, I will link every single item below that I use, such as the structures, the drawers, the lights, everything will be listed below for those who are wanting to do this. Are you just a little curious about the price point? I believe that my entire closet cost me somewhere around $2,500, which is not a lot because you gotta remember, I looked at LA Closets to do this and they quoted me 5,700 and something dollars. And that wasn't including the lights or any of the drawers. It was literally just like to put the shit up. So Ikea is very inexpensive and if you do it right, it will last you as long as it can. Um, but also I did it myself because I wanted to be able to say I did it, it was my closet, so I wanted to do it, but I also wanted to save money because Ikea has it where it, they, they base it on how much you buy. If you buy $3,000 worth of stuff, then you're going to be quite a, quoted a price of almost $1,000 to have them come and actually put it up for you. So I'm like, I can keep that money and actually buy more stuff for my closet as opposed to just paying somebody else to do while I sit there and drink lemonade in the shade. Like, I'm not that gay as far as not wanting to do nothing or get my hands dirty. I put all my stuff together so I can actually get, like, no matter, listen, guys, a little time and a little effort. I think all together it took me about a month to do every single thing and get everything where I wanted it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you have any questions, please put them below and I will catch you guys in my next one.